market traders in Lagos State have expressed worry at the increase in the cost of food commodities, with many of them blaming it on inadequate supply. Our visit to Igondo markets in Lagos State revealed that traders and consumers are not happy with the current economic situation of the country, as consumers could barely afford to buy goods because of the hike in prices. Speaking to Kaftan Television, the assistant leader to the Iyalojo of Igondo Market in Lagos State lamented on the increase of food commodities alongside a meat seller who apt on the increase in the price of his foodstuff, which has led to low patronage by consumers. It's over, over, over. We are selling this chicken flavor, 120. It's now 170. We are selling uh, no, ordinary no, no chicken. Now it's 800 and we are selling 250 before. Everything now is too high for this Lagos state. No meat, no vegetable, no anything. We are suffering. This suffer is too much. Please make government help us. Market is very cost now. Well, we won't we buy market now. The buyer like 30,000, 50,000 era. Now, now double price the buyer now. Like 100,000, 120, go up. Now everything very cost too so much. The prices of common now is, is too much, very high. As in, this one is now before. We used to sell it 50, 50 now. But now it's 100 now. This one, 150. Now I'm taking 100. Please, it's too high for us to sell. Then customers are complaining. Speaking further, Consumer in the market gave his word on the continuous increase in the prices of food commodities, calling it alarming. We are in country now, everybody is aware of it. It's not, it's not a new thing. And uh, most of all, we are getting used to it because it's the situation of the country. When you ask several people, they said uh, the, pro the product they are buying is not the same price they used to buy before. They are everything high and due to the cost of diesel now, so they flat it on their markets. So what we used to buy before with now is not the same price. That is a big difference. As you can see what I'm buying, I'm buying it 50000 Each of these line on now is 10000 That is why I was every year, so that I can watch what they are cutting for me. Still speaking, other traders at the market complained of low patronage, saying the goods are available but costly. Before, we used to sell the uh, bait of Ghana nuts, 1002 but now it's 2700 naira. The price is too high. So, like a goosey now, we used to sell a goosey derika 500 naira. Because now the acre is 800 naira, because the, the price is too high for we are buying from the north. So and so we see um, beans also too high. Before before the acre of beans 300, 350, but now it's 500 naira. The where we are buying from the market from the north is too high. I don't know maybe now importation or not, they just, everything just they go high. Our live chicken before we always buy layers at the rate of 1,600. 1,700, 1,750, but presently now it's 3,000, 3,002, which we are selling for 3,500, some will die, some will die from it, so unfortunately now the work is not encouraging, is not encouraged to do now, because once we want to buy chicken from the farmers, if we make a complaint that the chicken is too cost, they will say the feed is too much, I do buy chicken, uh, chicken feed at the rate of 3,500, now 9,900. However, this relentless upward movement of prices in the state is discouraging to many families with limited budgets, which has also added to the frustrations of many people making life unbearable for them. It is distressing to see that foodstuffs, among other things, cost more by the day and that taxes and utility bills of all kinds keep increasing. Something drastic needs to be done as hunger is biting hard in the land.